going to be reviewing the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette that Morphe came out with. Um, this came out on January 2nd, I believe. It was out online on New Year's Eve at midnight, but um, I know that the website crashed, so I know not, not a lot of people were able to get it. So they sold it at the store in Burbank, California. And that actual weekend, I was around that area, so I went to the store thinking, just I was gonna go actually just to buy some brushes, but I, I already knew in my head that it was sold out, and I was like, what's the point of even asking for it? But they had this box right there in display, and I asked them, did you guys, do you guys still have a palette? And she said, yeah, that they had a handful or a couple more. Um, so I was like excited that I was able to get my hand on it because I really wanted it. I was kind of hesitating um, about getting it because it does look like the 35W from Morphe but it has a little bit more pink shades and a little bit mix of different colors or different shades so I was excited that I they actually had it so I was thinking if they had it then I would get it of course so I'm going to be showing you guys the swatches of the eyeshadows and more information about them and what I think about the palette and all and comparing it with the other palettes as well. So if you guys want to find out more about this palette, then just keep watching. So to start off, um, this is what the box looks like. It says Jaclyn Hill's favorite, um, favorites, and it has uh, Morphe brushes. And when you turn it around, it has a beautiful picture of her. And she wrote a little paragraph right here. that's just what the box looks like so now for the palette the palette comes like this it looks like a typical regular palette that they have but if you see the size difference the Jaclyn Hill palette is a little bit smaller like that and the Jaclyn Hill um, palette has only 28 shadows and the 35W has 35 which is their normal, normal um, eyeshadow palettes so you get a little bit more for less price and which is $20 for their you know no normal palettes and then their Jaclyn Hill palette is $27.99 I believe and you only get 28 eyeshadows. Um, so now opening the palette, it doesn't have a mirror, the um, regular Morphe palettes has a mirror and some brushes. This one just came blank. Um, I wish you put a, probably thought about putting a mirror so then no, just in case you were traveling, you have something to look at. But to me, that's not a big deal breaker. I usually tend to carry a big mirror with me to do my makeup because no little mirror, like in any case, or even the Morphe palettes that's a mirror, I don't like to hold a big palette to do my makeup. I like to hold just a regular single mirror with me just to do my makeup. So that's fine with me. So this is what the eyeshadows look like. You guys can see you get such a great variety of eyeshadows. You get very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. This is a palette that goes with every person out there. I know she specifically wanted to make a palette that was um, universal and that went with every skin tone and that most women would wear. And these are colors that a typical woman that works Monday through Friday can wear and, you know, if you want to go crazy in the weekend, you have some beautiful eyeshadows that you could create beautiful smoky eyes. Or whatever the case is, you have pretty much every shade that you want for any occasion. So this is what I love about it. I When I saw it, I just knew that it was similar to the 35W from Morphe, but it was so different in a way. So, so now I just wanted to compare it to the 35W, which is from Morphe as well. Um, this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to buy it because it looks so similar to this palette. So this is a 35W and this is a Jaclyn Hill palette. So this is what they look like. Um, if you see both of them, they're pretty much the same idea. Um, if you have the 35W, I mean, it's up to you, but I mean, I don't know. If I wouldn't have got this one, I, I would have been fine with this one. You get the same exact looks. Some eyeshadows are exactly the same. But from what I heard is that she created her own eyeshadows. 
Um, they went in to make the pigmentation a little bit better from the regular eyeshadows. Some of the colors are the same as well, but the pigmentation supposedly from their from her palette, they went in and pigmented it more. But I mean, if you guys see it, you kind of get the same concept in both palettes. They're both neutral. They have some pop of colors, but they're both beautiful palettes. It's just up to you if you're willing to get both. So like I said, this palette was $27.99. Um, so each eyeshadow is one dollar. That's such a great deal. These eyeshadows are so pigmented Like I'm doing just a couple swatches and you guys can see how pigmented these are Like it's crazy how crazy pigmented these are That's just like one swatch of each These are highly highly pigmented um, I would recommend this palette for sure. I think that if you don't have any other Morphe palette, or if you're just looking for a new palette to splurge on, I would highly recommend this one. Um, honestly, in my opinion, ever since I have gotten Morphe palettes, I don't really waste my money on high-end products any or high-end um, eyeshadow palettes anymore, unless they're different or unique, um, because you get such great quality with these Morphe eyeshadows that it's crazy to spend like 50 bucks on like a 12 eyeshadow palette, if that makes sense. Um, I would highly recommend it because it is a great eyeshadow palette, but with some of these um, eyeshadows, you could also contour. So you get to, you know, to use it more than just for eyeshadows. And for example, this peachy color here, that, that would be such a beautiful um, color for a blush, especially if you are fair. Um, so yeah, overall this is a great palette. Um, I love it. I give it two thumbs up. She did such a great job in creating this palette. And I love that she um, collaborated with Morphe, which is a very affordable brand. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the um, swatches to all of the eyeshadows in here. So if you want to see swatches to these beautiful eyeshadows, then just keep watching. As you guys can see, the eyeshadows are beautiful, they're gorgeous, they're just highly, highly rich pigmented. Like it's crazy how affordable these are, a dollar each, 27 or 28 eyeshadows, and these will last you such a long time. They're just creamy, they're long lasting, they're just gorgeous eyeshadows. And like I said, this is a palette that she created for um for the use of everyone, that anybody can use these all the way from when you start wearing makeup until you stop wearing makeup. Um, this is a great um, palette and it's a great gift as well for somebody that's beginning um, or starting off to do makeup. This is a great product. Or if you're, pro if you're a makeup artist, I would highly recommend this. I could see myself using this to do makeup on people so I would I would want to purchase another one if I could get my hands on it. From what I did read on their Instagram, they are going to be restocking on these soon. So um, I believe it's online. So just keep an eye out on their 
Instagram for more information. So that's all you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review and swatches and information about the Jaclyn Hill Fair Palette. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple looks this next two weeks or three weeks on um, or just the next whatever. I'm going to be doing a tons of looks using this palette. Um, I'm excited to try them out because the eyeshadows are just so beautiful. I have been playing with them. I did create a couple eyeshadow, I mean a couple eye looks already creating, um, creating. I did create some eyeshadow looks with this palette already. So I'm excited to show you guys what I have come up with. And yeah, so if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! So today I'm going to be reviewing the Lime Crime Velveteens.